Sunday everyone. Today we're gonna make great appetizer seafood pizza from freshly catch sea trout. So uh, what we're gonna use in our <clears throat> seafood pizza? Bell pepper, red, I have two of them, one whole tomato and one half of one onion. So I'm gonna chop those guys first, uh, turn off the camera and then uh, and then we go step by step. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let me show you what I prepare first uh, before I start cooking to our seafood pizza. Sweet pepper. You see, this is how I chopped them. Same way I chopped them. Sweet onion. Like that. One fresh shredded tomato, two teaspoons of tomato pat, one teaspoon each black pepper, red crushed pepper, salt, and thyme. Now let's go uh, start cooking those guys first and then we go step by step. Stay tuned guys. For cooking our vegetables, I'm only using butter, no olive oil or anything else. I already preheat uh, my uh, pan and we're gonna put our peppers immediately. You see guys, if you put your butter and start heating up the pan with this, with it, your butter will burn. You don't want to burn your butter. You just want to uh, keep them fresh. You see how it's staying fresh? Because my vegetables start pulling them in, so it's not burning. It is important, you know, don't burn your butter. It won't taste right. So put it on a pan that it's already hot. So, and we're not gonna cook all this uh, all the way. We're just gonna make it like a, close to caramelized. So let's turn a couple of seconds our pepper because pepper is a little longer to cook. Now we're gonna add our onion. Let them saute it another five minutes, guys. Here we are perfectly caramelized. So now we're gonna add our tomato paste. We're gonna saute it a little bit with it. You see it start sticking a little bit my tomato paste so that means they're all good to go at this point we're gonna add our freshly uh, chopped shredded tomato Mmm, that smells so good guys already, I'm telling you. Whew. Yeah. Now we're gonna cook down our tomato too a little bit. Alright guys. My, my vegetables, pre-cooked vegetables are almost done. That's when I add my all my spice in there. Because we're just gonna turn a couple of time and then we're gonna turn that off this is how it's supposed to look you see all right now we're gonna let this uh, relax for a couple of hours when we're ready to cook when we're ready to put our pizza on the oven stay tuned guys all right, guys, now for our pizza, our sauce for the bottom, it's ready. Now we're gonna prepare the, the fish. We're gonna make two pizza. So this is our freshly catch trout. So what we're gonna do here, first we're gonna take the middle bones out too. And then we're gonna start making a 
small pieces. Not too big, not too small, just like this. Okay? All right, everyone. Here we cut our freshly cut sea trout on the small pieces. So, this is what we're gonna do. Little bit of seasoning all. Little bit of red crushed pepper. Little bit of freshly chopped, which I didn't chop, I like doing this better. Dill, fresh dill. Trust me on this. You don't need much, just a little bit, but you give a, a fantastic taste on it. And some olive oil. Now we're gonna mix this. And maybe like two tablespoons. It's the pan, you know, how much you want. You don't need much. So we're gonna mix it well. Voila, our fish is ready. So now let's put, I put my oven on already. It's heating up, which we are gonna broil it. We are not gonna bake it. So, all right, now let's put our pizza together. This is what I'm using guys for my Pizza, no need anything else. This is perfect. We're gonna put this down. First, we're gonna put our sauce in there. Make sure that goes everywhere. I prefer using flat tortillas than a regular pizza dough because this is healthier and uh, it's not, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just trying eating healthy, guys, that's all. But you can do this with regular pizza dough, it's just as good. I did already a couple of times, really good. So now we have our sauce in there. So mozzarella cheese. It's up to you how much you want. And then we're gonna put our fish. My wife, she's gonna be, again, like, so happy. I make this many times and she is like, ah, oh, she can get enough. So guys, here we are. This is all ready to go to the oven. And let me show you. Just put it broil, preheat on high. And just put it on the second row right there. And let them do the job. I would say maybe a uh, uh, I will put the timer on for three minutes and then we'll check. Here we are guys, our final product. The fish are cooked perfectly. My bread is nice and uh, crispy in the side and the edges and juicy in the middle. My cheese, it's perfectly melt down. This is what you're looking for. On my oven, it takes me about five minutes. I don't know, everybody's oven, it's different. So let's go to test now, guys. Stay tuned. Here we are, guys. Final product. This is how it look like. 
nice and crispy on there beautiful that's for my wife she's gonna be so happy That smells so delicious, guys. You have no idea. It's a great appetizer. You can make this like an appetizer for your uh, guest or, you know, for your family. And again, you can do this with any fish and any way you want. Look at the bottom. Huh? Nice and crispy with all your permission. Wow, I, I, I can eat two of them. <laughs> um, juicy, cheesy, the tomato and uh, uh, the dill, even the dill, it give a nice texture of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's not hard to make it, you know, just do it whenever you can. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. I know my wife, she's a fan of this. I mean, any everything I make, she loves it, so. But she is, She, I'm sure she doesn't know yet. She's gonna be very happy. Mm. Mm. Juicy. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, guys. I'm not gonna torture you anymore. So, wish you all a wonderful, wonderful week and see you on the next video. Thanks again for all your support. Blessing from where? Paradise. That's my paradise. Mm. When you start, you just cannot stop. You gotta go for it. I mean, look how beautiful it is. The bottom, the top, delicious. Mm. It's just delicious. But you gotta make the sauce yourself, not those pretty sauce. You know, that's, that's make a huge difference when you make your own sauce with onion, pepper. It's really amazingly good. Thanks again.